Hey guys, Level Who here. I want to talk about the idea that winners break, or at least bend, the rules. Don't believe me? You can find examples of intentional competitive rule breaking in any sport, and if it doesn't break the rule, it certainly bends it, or at least wouldn't be considered playing the objective. Take NFL football as an example. One of the best defensive linemen in the game, Justin Smith, intentionally grabs and holds offensive linemen to allow his teammates to sneak by. Defensive holding is certainly a penalty, but he regularly gets away with it. Take this quote from FootballOutsiders.com. Similarly, good wide receivers intentionally push off defensive players to gain separation and get open. While sometimes they are penalized for offensive pass interference, it's always heralded as a veteran move by NFL commentators. Not an NFL fan? How about NBA basketball? Offensive players often charge through defenders despite the chance of a foul. Similarly, there's a defensive tactic nicknamed Hack-A-Shack, where defensive players intentionally foul offensive players who aren't very good at throwing free throw penalty bonus shots. I've linked a source in the comments section below. Maybe you're a soccer, that is, football fan. Have you ever heard of the term sly tackling? Players use nuances in the rules to knock down opposing players with the ball. The list goes on and on. So how does this apply to esports? Many of my quick tips have been debated as veteran moves or glitch. Quick starting the helicopter and seat switching for extinguisher, well, these are commonly considered veteran moves. Using a silencer or equipping your repair torch while in a vehicle to avoid blinking on the minimap when you shoot, also considered a veteran move. But yet the same tactic when applied to a mortar, that is, equipping a silenced weapon with a mortar and using it, is banned here at level BF. Take the below radar cup. The original intention was to use the central buildings on Firestorm for cover and rely on bending TV missiles for kills, but this was never made into a rule or documented anywhere. All the teams that followed this lost. The team that won? You guessed it. The team that was smart enough to realize that although the title was below radar, there certainly weren't any rules about saying you had to be below radar. So when does it become cheating or unacceptable? What's the line? Take this clip from a beta 11 versus 11 match on Siege of Shanghai. We were only playing to 400 tickets, so we were basically in garbage time. I used a tactic to seat switch to gain extra flares. There were certainly no rules against it. There was no terms of service violation. And let me be clear, in my opinion, this should certainly be patched. And if it's not patched, I would vote for a rule that would ban this. But for now, there's no rule against it. What do you think? What do I say? I say it's better to ask for forgiveness than for permission. I want to be a winner. Do you? Ba bam bam ba dam bam.